Hello, hello, good afternoon. This is a weird, weird video for me. I don't do vlogs, I don't do videos like this, but I've had the nicest weekend that I think I've had in a really long time due to obviously COVID and just a lot of things in general. And I just, I think I'd be really sad if I didn't have it up anywhere because I know that I lose videos and I lose pictures and stuff like that and I just I just want to have it. So this weekend I did quite a few different things. I went clubbing for the first time since Covid, you know, not went away but you know the restrictions were lifted. Hello Enzi. I went to a YouTube event, I did some stuff, like it was a whole, a whole, whole fun thing. So let's just walk you through it. So our original plan was to go to this place in Shoreditch, my phone's going off. The original plan was to go to this place in Shoreditch, which we never ended up going to because one of our friends didn't feel well and it turned out she didn't book it even though we thought she booked it and it was a whole situation. So then we were like, oh, we could just have a few drinks here, but at the same time it was like, it was the first weekend that we're allowed out and all that stuff. So in the end we booked cargo, um, which was like 22 pounds each to get in. And the drinks there were, I don't wanna say pricey, but I feel like they got more expensive as the night went on because I bought three rounds of just a vodka and lemonade twice obviously for me and Hannah and I spent 30 uh, I spent 30 pounds pure each round so I spent 90 pounds just on drinks which I think I feel like it's kind of a lot like I don't think that's me just being cheap <laughs> personally I had a really good time I think Hannah had a really good time they played some bangers and me and Hannah do not have the same taste in music but I think it was actually pretty okay the lighting's not very good here we had pre-drinks at mine now we are in Shoreditch local street um, and we're gonna go to a club called Cargo that we've got tickets to. I'm sorry now for any um, music that is not actual music because I didn't really want this video to get copyrighted. <laughs> R&B bangers, like bangers. But when we were reading the website, it said no trainers and Hannah had air forces on. She doesn't live that far from me. So we were like, oh, she's gonna have to wear heels. Went back to hers, changed her shoes, went all the way there, had a great old time on the train. <laughs> Once we got there, we found out that everybody else was wearing Air Forces. Low-key annoyed because like neither of us wanted to wear heels, do you know what I mean? Like heels look good, but especially that, that like clubbing, dancing, you don't want to be wearing heels. Um, and in the end, we were having a really nice time and we weren't tired or anything, but our feet were killing us and Hannah's more than mine. Like Hannah, <laughs> Hannah looked like she was dying. Like mine hurt, but I feel like I could have carried on, but Hannah was like, we need to go. She was like, I'm so sorry. I was like, it's fine. She was like, I can barely stand up. So we were standing outside trying to get a cab and Uber, I don't know if it was because it was the first Friday night and everybody was just getting cabs, but Uber had like just gone down. Like every booking kept getting canceled. It was massively busy outside. And then we look at Hannah's feet and realize that one of her heels are off. Not the shoe, the heel. She has one shoe of the heel and the other shoe doesn't have a heel. I eventually get through to Uber, find her an Uber, put her in the Uber. Even with her dismay, she kept trying to tell me, I'll come to the train station with you. I was like, no, don't worry about it. Like you can barely like stand. But we were going in two di different directions. So I put her in an Uber and I was like, it's a 10 minute walk to the station, straight walk. I was fine with it. So fine with it, but oh my God, when we were waiting outside, especially when I was alone, but like when we were waiting outside, guys are just the worst people. Like I've never realized how desperate guys were until you go clubbing. And I don't know if it was the fact that COVID has just been like over so that it was worse. My phone's pinging like hell. But literally a guy would be talking to us. We'd say we weren't interested or that we have boyfriends. And they were just literally like, you're, you're saying the words, I have a boyfriend. They see another female and they just like, as you're still talking, like they just, they don't care. <laughs> they really don't care. So I walk all the way to the train station, 
get to the train station and it's closed. <laughs> So I go on Uber and I'm like, okay, brilliant. I'll just sort of have to order another Uber for myself because I already spent 30 pounds on Hannah's Uber. She transferred it back to me in the morning. Um, <laughs> and I can't do it because maybe it was the fact that I was drunk, but because on the app it said that because there was somebody in my Uber, I have to wait for her Uber to get to their destination, which was like 40 minutes. So I just sat on the stairs outside with random people being really mean to me. <laughs> Not mean, drunk and disrespectful. Luckily, these two guys came up to me and sat with me and were like, we're going to McDonald's, do you want to come? And I was like, no, no, it's fine. And they're like, no, no, come with us. And it's right around the corner. So I was like, okay, fine. Went with them, a fight broke out. They like shielded me from it. <laughs> um, they gave me water, like bought me a bottle of water from McDonald's because he tried to give me a bottle of water, but I was like, no. And he was like, it's like not open. You can see that. And I didn't do anything to it, but he bought me a whole brand new one. Cause he was like, just so you know, I didn't like do anything to it. And I was like, that's really sweet. Um, went home, woke up. And honestly, just had a really great old time. I look and feel like an absolute chav. Wearing heels. My feet feel like they are burning in lava. The next night, the YouTube lot were down and we had a great old time. Went to go see them near Lakeside and we chilled in the hotel for a bit, had a few drinks, walked around, went on a Ferris wheel, like a whole Ferris wheel, which we nearly died on. It was so high. I'm the Ferris wheel. <laughs> Suckers. Oh. Woo. How many times do we get to go out? I have no idea. Uh, what, I don't know. Quick, get the bus down. Get the bus down. Vlog. Please, I don't know. Sit down. Why? Are you No, I don't like heights. Oh my god. Okay, okay. I'm actually being scared. I don't like heights. If you look too much, oh my god. Tesco car park. Imagine I just drop my camera. Imagine I just go. I'm actually scared. Whoa, look at the height of this bitch! <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm gonna get at the top. Down. And then it's down. Oh. <laughs> get the shots, everyone get the shots! Get the shots! <laughs> Again! Oh, oh we're not at the top! Oh, no, that, that was the top. Oh, that we were now going back down. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Should we climb it? Then there was a few like bars and pubs nearby, so we decided to go to one and play some beer pong, which was a very fun and interesting activity. I feel like I did pretty well, just saying. Let's get cider. Don't act like you know me, like you know me. <laughs> Got it. Yeah, B roll footage, all that. B roll footage, yeah. Thank you. to be there with everybody because I hadn't seen them, I had I saw them like not that long ago but I don't tend to see them that often and like weirdly enough they're like the closest people in my life or one of and so I was meant to be going to a Taylor Swift nightclub on the Saturday but I didn't want to cancel it because I was like I really want to go and I'm so excited to go like that's literally like heaven for me <laughs> but I really really wanted to see my friends so I looked back on the website and I found another time they're doing it in London because all the others were like Birmingham and Cardiff and it's a bit of a track just for a nightclub but I found another one in London in October so I'm gonna go to that one I just didn't go I didn't refund my tickets or anything I just didn't go and ended up hanging out with the guys and had like a really really nice time about five hours sleep and a hell of a lot of coffee later was Clash of Creators great old day 
I got to the hotel in the morning, we chilled, we got there, Kira had a bit of an incident in the car. <laughs> then we watched like Road to Shore, Jackmate, and like loads of other people do some really cool stuff. <laughs> Apparently we're allowed on the pitch. Well. No. I don't know how well this is going to end, but we're doing it. Terribly. Terribly. team which Matt was in were playing first and won and then we were watching all the other teams play and then in the end Matt won, red team won completely, we were so so excited. That's it, that's it. Changing. I, I, I'm so grateful to be here. <laughs> wow. Like everybody who played did so so well and it was such a lovely time. Like it was just so nice being with everybody and being like within the community. And what makes it even better is that obviously it was all for charity. It was just, it was amazing. And literally everybody that I met was just so 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 lovely after. And then of course we went back to the hotel and just got drunk. <laughs>